here we are. We're in Uriala in the ACT with my good friend, Melanoma, fellow melanoma survivor, Judy Middlebrook. You're showing us around your lovely surrounds here. Right. First of all, you should look up there at the, that's the Brindabella Mountains. Wow. Those who remember the old 1960s radio program, Blue Hills, they were the Blue Hills. And up there is Brindabella that Miles Franklin wrote about in her book, My Brilliant Childhood. Here are the new plantings for autumn. We've got beetroot, beans, Brussels sprouts, be peas, beans, and strawberries. And here we've got the remains of a capsicum plant, some parsley. The remains? Who, who, what happened? Well, because it's the end of summer. Oh, I thought you were going to tell us a story about the horses leaning over the fence. No, the horses have eaten the kale, as you can see. They've got half a leaf on the horse side. That's oh, right. the kale, like spinach, spring onions, rhubarb, garlic, ginger, leeks, potatoes, all the herbs. There's two types of thyme in there, chives, marjoram. Wow. And here we've got broccoli, leeks, strawberries, and I think there might be a couple of spring onions in there. And this is, you, you pretty much live on this sort of stuff yeah, all the time, I, Judy? Yeah, I all the time. In your journey? Yep. And here's the plumcot tree, a cross between a plum and an apricot. Delicious. Wow. Half eaten by horses over there. And in here, we've got... This is Judy's backyard. Yep. In here, we've got a lime tree and a blood orange tree. That's, that's the lime. That's the blood orange. Grapes all around. Grapes. Here is the lemon tree. The, I've got some nice lemons coming on here for the winter. As you can see, fresh. Look at the quality of that. That's, uh, that's the apple tree that had a fantastic harvest this year. Everybody up and down the street have got fresh apples. There goes Elaine driving off. There's Helene Elaine's driving off. Stage four survivor. How long for? Yeah. Is that again? Seven, um, eight years? Eight years. Eight yeah. years, stage four survivor. People, it can be done. That's uh, the remains of the tomato and basil plot. But that all has to be pulled out. That was a summer crop. What a backyard this is. And around here, there's another. I've got some shade house for ground feeders. Around here, we've got another. The drag ends of, of another tomato plot. And these are all heritage tomatoes over here. I've got Arkansas Traveller. I've got Purple Cherokee. I've got Red Russians. Wow. And I've got these. Have a bite of that. That is a, a sweet little tomato. You want a tomato? Look at them all down there. Hey, fresh. Can't get any fresher than this. <laughs> Growing all over the place. They're green tomatoes. When they're ripe, they're still green in colour. Geez, they're nice. Are, How fresh do they taste? Beautiful. There are some green zebras. Wow. You ever had green zebras? Oh, there you go. They're beautiful. Say hi, Brian. G'day. Stay another stage four survivor. <laughs> But uh, I did have all lettuces and other herbs growing in there. And I had lettuces and spinach down here. What a backyard, so, Judy. I, um, this... You two dogs lie down. That's gnarly. Lie down, gnarly. This is unreal. Yeah. Yes. crab apples. You can make jelly out of those. Yum. And these are spalliate apples. These are apples. There they are. Is this, is this the cure for melanoma, perhaps? This is the cure for melanoma. Here there are you some go. espalier apples. I've got Pink Lady, Red Delicious, and Gala growing along here. Yeah. Oh, no, that's the Delicious, that's the Gala. And Judy... And um, that's a nectarine tree. Wow. Well, and that's an apricot tree. All right. And there's a cherry tree up in the corner, too. We passed the cherry tree. So you'll be supplying the Woolworths soon? No, I supply only to the people who live in my street and my relatives. <laughs> so, Judy, and, and years ago when you got diagnosed with melanoma, you just packed up? 
after you got free of the disease, yep. you packed up yep. and you moved out to the country. That's right. And you I, haven't looked back now. I decided that it was my immune system that was going to keep me alive. Yep. I've had four operations for melanoma and I decided to come out here and have peace and quiet and look at the mountains. A gin and tonic out here at sunset every day is better than a meditation, I can tell you. There you go, folks. You've heard there it. There you go. And, and just one final message to anyone out there that's just been diagnosed with melanoma. What, what would, advice would you give them, Judy? I would say get the very best treatment, but give yourself the best chance of curing yourself by looking after your immune system, not getting stressed, and eating good food. There you go. Judy's Backyard, thank you very much.